Hello, this is David with entry number 377, 376, something around there. Apologies. I'm coming at you, let me turn around, in the middle of Namdechan, the big river. Uh, they've dried it out considerably, as you can see. Um, you know, two weeks ago, even a week ago, I would have been under five, six feet of water. So you can really see how um, how drastic their uh, damming here is, or the power of it at least. Um, that rock formation you see uh, behind me, that was completely underwater. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, a lot of storks on there right now. Um, and this is very dry. Um, if I pounded my feet, you know, they'd sink in a few inches, but um, for the most part, I uh, I can walk on very safely without fear of like tripping or anything. I'm gonna continue this video, staying on this uh, this dry part, and you can just see how far this will go. Um, so I wanted to reiterate how uh, how nice my day yesterday was, and um, just say you know, you know I'm very thankful for the situation that I've I've found myself in the last few months has been has been really good. And it's in a large part of that is due to the company that I've kept. And, um, you know, we like to say, um, you know, we actually, no, scratch that. We all know that good company breeds um, good times and good times breed breeds uh, good people. But, um, you know... Um, I'm also someone who is very content with just being alone and um, when you're like that you know kind of like a pseudo hermit you can kind of forget uh, how nice it is to have to be around other people and uh, I just wanted to reiterate in this in this video for future reference if I need it that it is always good always almost always better to be with someone than without someone. I'll say that one more time. It is almost always better to be with someone than without someone. Now, of course, I can think of a few scenarios where that isn't the case, is not the case, but um, on the whole, I find that um, that fact to be a fact. So uh, I'll end that there. Uh, today, for the most part, I haven't really done anything major. I've done a lot of shopping uh, in terms of groceries, and by a lot I mean not that much. For some reason, it seems like whenever I go to get groceries, I end up spending about 10 or 20,000 won, which is like roughly $20, but technically more like 1750 But um, oop, the sand's getting a bit... Uh, a bit pliable here, so I'll move back. Um, yeah, so I just did some light grocery shopping for the week. Uh, I bought a few big things, so I guess that that's why things uh, kind of turned out the way they did, uh, bill-wise. Um, and you know, uh, I just had a nice, easy-going day. Um, I just kind of it's uh, about 3:45 right now, so I just came out here to to just walk around, take a break. And uh, I noticed how, how far the water had receded. And I just thought it would be cool to kind of walk out on here. And then while I was walking, I was like, why not shoot my video for today out here? Uh, so, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, uh, next week should be good. Uh, if not, okay. Uh, I'm not really anticipating anything anything major to happen. I think there's a good probability of the first Hoishik happening sometime during the week. Uh, if you're new, or if you don't know what Hoishik is, it's a, uh, it's a thing the Koreans do here, which is kind of like a, a company dinner. And um, that's not even, I don't think, the really the best definition for it. But I think if you're coming from the U.S. perspective, a Hoishik is essentially... A team building activity that your coworkers participate in. So I know, like in the 90s and stuff, um, it became relatively popular to have these kind of 
team building activities and kind of retreats with with certain companies to kind of bolster productivity by um, fostering relationships between co-workers and in Korea that's been going on for many many years and instead of um, but instead of being you know a trust fall or a fire walk we're talking about um, we're talking about going and getting dinner at a at a dinner establishment and then uh, proceeding to get wasted drunk usually uh, depending on how much your your supervisor likes to drink in this case principles but I've heard wish cheeks are pretty common wherever you're working um, so um, I've actually spoke I apologize if when I'm touch the mic if there's a pretty bad noise but I'll try and keep that to a minimum there's a pretty good wind right now so I just want to shield the the microphone uh, from that um, so yeah I've heard it's pretty rough for people who don't really like to drink because it's a it's not a huge sign, but it is a sign of disres somewhat disrespect to not participate in these in these dinners. Uh, luckily, foreigners like me and some other people who who don't like to drink are often excused or are not um, peer pressured into drinking. Although there is a great deal of peer pressuring that goes on during these uh, these hoishiks to drink. So it's a very it's a very interesting concept coming from the coming from the U.S. You know because we are so um, brought up to be kind of individuals in in all regards, including the workplace. So um, when I first started doing these things, it was a very interesting experience, kind of getting used to uh, drinking and kind of behaving strangely, or at least in ways you would not uh, be expected to act in the workplace. And I found that uh, uh, fairly uh, uncomfortable, to be honest. I know a lot of people buy into it really hard, a lot of foreigners, because they like drinking a lot, but I'm not someone who doesn't really like that uh, all that much. So yeah, it was a, a bit of an awkward experience my first few, few times. But you know, um, it is what it is. And I have you know, been pretty good at going to them uh, in recent history. So, uh, that's about it. Next weekend I plan on going to Seoul for pho. We'll see how that shakes out. Um, I've already spent, I think, a little more than I'd like to this month, so uh, luckily I'll be getting that kind of little bonus thing coming up for the next uh, six months or so, so that'll be good. Uh, five months, technically. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. This has been entry number 377, 376. Sorry about that. I will talk with you tomorrow. Bye.